It's so nice being out here. It's a gloomy day, but it feels really great to have the space. But yeah, hi, welcome to my office. It's lunchtime right now. Everyone kind of went to lunch and I stayed back just so that I could film kind of a little bit of a tour because I didn't want to, I, I don't want to do that when people are around. I also got this dirty this morning. It makes me so sad. Ooh, the wind, the paid actor. I love being back in the office. It's definitely different from how it used to be. I'm sorry, little birdie, but I'm trying to talk. 
It's definitely different from how it used to be. In the beginning, I really didn't like it because I was comparing it to the old way the office used to be with like filled with people, everyone being around. But now that I've come in a few times, I've gotten used to it being a smaller group of people. It's a lot quieter and it's still nice running into the people that do come certain days. There's quite a few people here today though, the most I think I've seen in a while. I think we're doing a happy hour. Ooh, puppy. I'll bring you guys along. Very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up my sandwich for lunch. If you're ever in the arts district in LA around lunchtime, there's two places you really, 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 really need to try. One of them is Breadlum. It's a sandwich shop, but it's so good. We gotta get the Beef Boulevard. The second one is Low Key. It's a taco place, so good. You just need two tacos, you'll be full. And you just gotta get the chicken ones. Sandwich acquired, and now we go back. I just finished journaling. My prompts today were three things I'm grateful for and three things that I'm looking forward to. Like a pretty simple prompt that always does a trick. You can just jot down three quick things and sometimes I feel more inspired to write that way. Today's Friday and I'm still like cozied up. I have today off because every like six weeks or so we get a company-wide day off on Friday. That's why I'm just chilling and taking it slow. Last night was so much fun. We started with just happy hour drinks at Arts District Brewery, and then we went to get Korean barbecue. And then after Korean barbecue, right next to it was a karaoke place. So we closed down the karaoke place, and that's why my voice is really raspy because your girl can't sing, and I was just belting. <laughs> Essentially, I feel so bad for anybody who had to listen to me, but anyway, it was fun. We all had such a good time. I haven't seen a lot of those people in years or haven't hung out with them after work in years it just reminded me of the old ways we all used to hang out and how much more fun 
and more connected you feel to your work and your teammates when you actually get to interact with them outside of the context of work it just reminded me how many connections i really have made in my job because most of them work on different teams and i don't interact with them every day at work so when you don't interact with them at work and you're not in an office where you see them you kind of lose touch which is what has happened over this period of time and it was really nice to just kind of just jump back into friendship i guess i don't know how to explain it it was just a great feeling and it really made my heart so happy I just got back from my errands. I have a few packages. I got a bunch of baking stuff along with the powdered sugar and the dairy-free butter because I'm gonna make Korean lunchbox cakes. That'll probably be the next video. I had to get so many new things. This is a sheet pan. We got a little decorating set with like the piping bag and the tips. And then I got some gluten-free flour. My boyfriend is gluten-free and dairy-free right now, so I'm gonna be supportive and make a cake that he can also eat because I am just simply the best girlfriend ever, of course. <laughs> term tasks. While it's quite difficult to see our progress when we're engaged in the long-term creative projects. I'm not gonna lie, I had kind of a rough day. I think I was thrown off because I woke up so late. I woke up at like 11 and I had so many things on my to-do list. I just felt like I kind of wasted this extra day that I was given. It's not a waste though because everything I did, like I spent 40 minutes or so talking to my sister. That was a great chat. It's like that constant feeling of needing to do something productive. I was happy that I was talking to my sister. She's been busy and I got a chance to like sit down and talk with her and I was really happy we had that chat. I talked to my family and that was really nice. I helped my mom out with something. I wouldn't take those moments away at all. But in the back of my mind, I kind of had a headache only because I kept running through my to-do list in my brain um, and kind of guilting myself for it. And so that gave me a headache pretty much all day. So it wasn't a good day. I hate how the mind does that to you sometimes, even though I was like, kept trying to calm down. Honestly, it was probably also the coffee. I think the coffee really hit me because I could feel my heartbeat and I was like, you just need to calm down, like take a few breaths. It was an anxiety riddled afternoon. The lesson is that 
I'm thankful that I'm self-aware enough to realize that this is kind of irrational to think this way and I can still continue about my day. Maybe I won't get everything done, but that doesn't mean I should like give up. I'm really glad I went to work out. I feel so much better. I still have a little bit of a headache, but that's all right. I'm gonna take a quick shower now and then we're gonna go get Chipotle for dinner. I'm so excited. Okay.